Leeds United may be coming out of the darkest period in its history. For the first time in years, it appears there is a real unity between fans, players, management and owner. That's what Andrea wanted to do. He wanted to reconnect the fan base with... The, he wanted to reconnect with the community and he wanted to reconnect with the fans. <laughs> He wanted to make a, you know, a big statement to say, you know, we're custodians and you're going to take the club forward for us, and, and he's done that. They'd had, you know, 15 years of, of turmoil. Our objective as a club is to is to make, you know, we're, we're trying to do one thing, which is make supporters proud. And uh, over the last 15 years, Leeds supporters haven't had enough to be proud about. It's early December. Later today, Leeds take on Queens Park Rangers at Ellen Road. Before the game. Andrea and wife Nadine are dropping into a Leeds City Centre hospital to visit patients, staff and volunteers. We've had a lot of bad owners that have not put the club first. This is the first time for a long, long time that the stability is there in the background. We've got great interaction with the team. What we've got with Brad Rizzani and got a good relationship with him. I should have dressed like Santa Claus. Yeah, you should have done. I did already in the past. <laughs> I should have Marcelo look good as a Santa. Eh? You can tell him. Back. You tell him. No, I'm not telling him. I can tell him. You just care about him, eh? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Right, so should we go meet some guests? Hi, Hello. Are you wondering who all these people are? Who's here? Roberto. Yeah. Yeah. He's had his first birthday. He's waiting for his second. He's had one. Yeah. You become a football player, eh, Roberto? I'll wait for you. I'll wait for you, okay? <laughs> Let me go play my league, then you come. <laughs> look at his eyes. You star, my man. I look forward to see you in the stadium, okay? <laughs> Andrea has invited some of the kids from the Children's Heart Surgery Fund to today's game against QPR. Oh, it's been brilliant. Well, actually, I only told her a few days ago because she really likes stuff like this. And because she's been in hospital for so long, she met quite a few players, you know, at LGI, so she's remembered them, so she's excited for today. <laughs> Could you do what you want? Oh, yeah. I'll try to spot for you, okay? Yeah, so if, yeah. You do, if he scores. Don't cry, okay? But listen, when you're in the tunnel, Pablo's going to hold your hand and walk out with you. Also, you don't think we're going to win today? Is that why? <laughs> 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 right. Despite a good run, Leeds lies second in the championship behind a resurgent Norwich City. They need a win against mid-table QPR to keep on Norwich's tail. Captain Liam Cooper is on a growing list of first-team players sidelined through injury. Obviously, me and the, the injured lads are, are dying to get back and um, help the lads out in the dressing room as well while we can. I get more nervous watching than I do when I'm playing. And I don't know why. When you sat from there, you, you feel all the emotion instead of just your own. It's, it's obviously the fans around you. You feel the staff's emotion, and when, when, when you're playing, you just have yourself to concentrate on. Leeds' attacking style has left them vulnerable to counter-attacks in previous games. Here, Janssen's missed his cue. Wells again and low into the corner at the cop end. And Queen's Park Rangers take the lead. Yet again, Leeds fall behind against the run of play. And without Liam Cooper, how costly is it for Leeds not to have their captain in these crucial games leading in towards Christmas? Leeds need to show their fighting spirit to get back into another game they should not be losing. Shackleton on the overlap for United. Lifts it to the bad post, looking for Alioski. It'll drop to Saez. He won't get his shot away properly or clearly. Hanellas will try one, and it's Roof who steers it in from close range. Another equaliser and another vital goal for Kemal Roof for Leeds United. It's 1 1 here against QPR. A 
draw is not enough to keep on the tail of table-topping Norwich City. Fans and injured teammates will them on as they push for a winning goal. A chance for Ruth here. Oh, it's saved! What a moment, what a chance! Ruth could be in here again. He's over the top of Lenzi, brings it down, and the referee's seen something. Handball, and Leeds United, for the first time in 59 games, have been given a penalty. And at the cop end, Kemal Roof has the chance to take all three points against Queen's Park Rangers. It's two for Roof, it's two for Leeds. Walking wounded look on. The tension is palpable. Can Leeds hang on? That's it, they've done it, it's finished, Leeds 2, QPR 1.